Benjamin Franklin famously said that in life nothing is certain except death and taxes. But in the next life, what do we know for certain? Well, first of all, we know that we have to die first. But do we also have to pay taxes to get into heaven? Don't worry about that. Leave it to Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. In today's Gospel reading for Monday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, some tax collectors of the temple approach St. Peter and ask if the teacher, our Lord, paid the temple tax, to which St. Peter replied in the affirmative. Later on, Jesus questions St. Peter on the matter. From whom do the kings of the earth take tolls or a census tax? From their subjects or from foreigners? When he said, from foreigners, Jesus said to him, then the subjects are exempt, implying that he is in the same position as the subjects of the king and therefore exempt from paying the tribute. But, our Lord continues, that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook and take the first fish that comes up. Open its mouth and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. There are three lessons, short lessons, I'd like to draw from this incident. First, despite being exempt, our Lord wished to fulfill the duties of a citizen as other civilians should. St. Ambrose comments that our Lord's attitude is a great lesson on how we should be submissive to temporal authority, saying that if the Son of God paid the tribute, who are we to think we're too important not to? Therefore, we should imitate our Lord by being good citizens, by fulfilling our duties at work, in the family, and within society. Where well, that means paying fair taxes, voting according to our conscience, and even participating in public services. The second lesson from this gospel account is our Lord's poverty and total detachment from money and earthly goods. For he lacked even the two drachmas, a small sum in those days, to pay the temple fee. He had to ask St. Peter for the money to do so. And thirdly, and perhaps most beautifully, is that our Lord paid St. Peter's share along with his own. He told him to open the fish's mouth where he would find a coin, twice the temple tax. Then he said to him, Give that to them for me and for you. Like a parent who pays the doctor's fee or the bus fare of their children, our Lord also assumes responsibility and even the debts of those who've dedicated their lives to Him. And if that applies to temporal duties and necessities, how much more does it apply to our eternal salvation? For if He was willing to pay a few coins in taxes here on earth, how much more is he willing to pay the fare to get to heaven? So in our daily struggles to be law-abiding citizens here on earth, let's not, to, let's not forget to be like St. Peter, to give ourselves entirely to him, and the rest he'll take care of. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.